Hello and welcome to my channel, I'm Olivia and today I'm going to run you through a glute and upper body session. All you need is a mat or soft flooring and a set of dumbbells around medium weight and we're going to begin with a short five minute warm up to make sure you are ready for the session. So flip yourself around so you are in a hands and kneeling position and we're going to just rock forwards and backwards, make sure your hands <clears throat> are underneath your shoulders and that your knees are underneath your hips, okay? So just rocking really gently forwards and backwards, finding what range of movement, the range of movement that works for you. And we're just gonna take a few more reps here, okay? Really just warming up through the wrists, through the hips for two, one, and find a neutral position. So think of a rod going from your spine all the way up towards the crown of your head, and you wanna be nice and flat. So inhale, shine the chest up towards the sky, find a little bit of movement through that mid back, and then exhale, Tuck the chin and round that spine, okay? And then under here a few more times, take it in your own time. And last one. Perfect, find that neutral spine. Take a few more rocks forwards and backwards. And then you are going to bring your left foot to meet your left wrist. Finding yourself in a lizard stretch, we're just going to open up through the hips, and you might also feel that stretch in your glutes in the IT band. So just find a bit of movement again here. So just taking yourself side to side again, forwards and backwards, and now place the hands inside that left leg. Left hand comes up towards the sky, stretch it out, and then bring it back down. Two more on this side. Make sure you can see your hand at the top of the stretch. Option to progress by tucking that rear toe and lifting the knee off the ground just to further that stretch, but always the option to stay down the floor. Either is totally fine. Okay, let's switch it over. Right foot is going to meet your right hand. Find a bit of movement first, side to side, forwards and backwards, and let's take it into a stretch, a reach up towards the sky. Okay, two more reps. Again, option to progress by lifting that rear knee off the floor if that is what you want to do. Perfect. Okay, you're going to bring your right foot now to meet the left. And we're going to take it into a plank position to start to build a little bit of warmth and heat through the body. <clears throat> I've been doing too much talking today. My throat is giving way. Stick with me. Okay, see if you can go onto the balls of your toes and then pushing back into your heels. So just take a few rocks in this plank position for three, for two, and for one. Knees go wide, toes are together, walk your hands all the way forwards and just find a little bit of movement. You guess it side to side. Nice deep breaths. Okay, let's get moving. You are going to start with your back. Lay yourself onto your back. Grab either one or two dumbbells, it is up to you. We are going to go into glute bridges. Heels towards your bum, lifting your hips up towards the sky, squeeze your glutes, your butt muscles, and drive into your heels, and then back down, okay? You are going to stay with me. We are here for 15 reps. Let's go. For one, two, three. If you find this video is too much for you, just do what you can, slow it down. And then each time you come back, you can try and do a few more reps. We're at six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nearly there for one, two, three, four, last one, and five. Hold, hold this position. It's going to kill that butt, but hold that position. Take your dumbbell, just the one, hold it by either end of the, the, um, the dumbbell and we're gonna push up to the sky and cut elbows, come back down again, okay? Into a chest press, off we go for 10. For one, squeeze that butt, it's gonna be burning. Stick with me for three, four, five, for six, seven, with three more reps, nearly there for two, and one, Whew. Okay, just rock side to side. Give yourself a little breather. Slowly pull yourself up. Grab your other dumbbell if you didn't already have it. Bring yourself into a high kneeling position. I'm gonna go side on so you can see me. And we're gonna go into bicep curls. So we're working this muscle here into our biceps. 
Weights go forwards, hands up towards the sky, off we go. So lift up, slow down, okay? That's one. For two, for three, squeeze your butt, squeeze your abs. Do not let yourself rock backwards and forwards. For four, five, six, do really well. Stick with me for seven, eight, nine, ten, nearly there. We're going for another five. Four, three, two, and last one. Perfect, okay, great work. So, that is our circuit. We're gonna repeat that two more times. Grab yourself a quick sip of water if you need one. Now you know what the exercises are. If you would like to jump up in weight, go down, use one or use two, the option is there, okay? If you would like to take both weights for the chest press, then you are very welcome by taking the weights here, and you're just going to push the dumbbells up, okay? So your elbows are coming down, palms are facing towards each other, and you'll be pushing like that. Again, fine if you sit with one. So when you're ready, let's go into that glute bridge for 15 reps. For one, two, three, four, five, for seven. Doing really well, stick with me for eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, hold at the top, 15, find your chest press, let's go for 10, for two, three, squeeze your butt, four, five, six, seven, nearly there, eight, nine, last one, and 10, great work. Okay, let's come into that bicep curl. Again, if you would like to modify the bicep curl, just take one, hold it in front like this, and bring that up, okay? There's always options to progress or modify the movement. Let's go, bicep curls for 15, for two, three, four, keep squeezing your butt, for five, six, seven, you're doing great, stick with me, eight, Nine, 10, 11. Use that gym grunt. Make as much noise as you need to. You are nearly there for four and five. Okay, really nice. Give yourself a little shake out. Crack open the window if you're feeling a bit warm. You have got one more round to go. We're gonna jump onto our back. We're gonna get going with those glute bridges in five. Okay. Heels towards your bum. We're going in three, in two, off we go. Last time doing these, squeeze your butt like you have got a 50 pound note between your cheeks and someone is trying to pull it away from you. Drive up, squeeze your butt, nearly there for six, seven, eight, for nine, ten, nearly there, last five. Four, three, two, and one. Hold, take it straight into that press for one, two, three, four. Keep checking with your glutes, make sure they're not sagging towards the floor. Last four reps, stick with me. One, two, squeeze your butt, three, and four. Well done, great work. Okay, let's bring yourself on to your front. Once you're in kneeling position, sorry, let's go for bicep curls, straight in for one, for two, for three, four, five, for six, nearly there, seven, eight, nine, ten, push through, little wiggle out of the arm if you need to, okay, off we go, another five, four, three, for two, and for one, awesome work. Okay, chuck those dumbbells to the side. Just place yourself back into child's pose just for a few moments just to catch your breath. And just rest that head. And slowly bring yourself up. Perfect, so our next exercise is gonna come back onto your back. This time we're gonna do a frog press or a frog pump. So, 
I will show you the exercise first. You have the option to do it body weight or with weights. Bring the soles of your feet together. Allow your knees to drop down to the floor. Okay, you might feel a stretch through your hips as well. You place your hands either side of you and just lift yourself up. Okay, so this is really, really into that glute. So we're gonna lift up like this. Okay, so option to use the weight. The weight is just gonna go front like here and you're gonna push against the weight. When you are ready, let's go. Option to cat, so climbing in and out, making all sorts of noise. Okay, lightly touch the floor, don't kind of slump completely into the floor. That's three, for four, five, doing really well, for six, seven, eight, for nine, stick with me, 10, got five left, five, for four, three, for two, and last one, great work. Bring yourself into a skull crusher or tricep extension, okay? I'm gonna show you both because you often find the skull crusher, if you don't have a heavy enough weight, might find quite, be quite easy despite the name of the exercise. So I'm gonna give you two options here. So either on your back with the weight like this, and then bring, bend your elbows and bring the weight kind of towards your forehead, almost like towards your hairline. So you should feel this in the backs of your upper arms, your triceps. So that is variation number one. Variation number two is a little bit more challenging on both the triceps and also in your shoulders. So I'm gonna be all the way down here just so you can see me. Uh, but option also is to say in that high kneeling position. Weight's gonna go overhead, squeeze your abs, and you are going to bend your elbows like so, and then lift up towards the sky, okay? Up to you. Again, you can stay like this, or you can be up here. The option options are endless. You take that option, I'm gonna take it into a skull crusher. We are going for 15 reps, in three, in two, off we go, for one, for two. Try not to bash yourself on the forehead. Nice, light touch or hover just above. Okay, four. Slow on the way down, drive it up fast on the way up. For six, for seven, eight, nine, ten. You've got five left. Big push now for five, four, three, two, last one, big push, great work. Okay, we've just got two exercises and we're gonna take as little recovery between these two, okay? So, grab yourself your dumbbell or keep your body weight. We're going back into that frog, pump in three, in two, off we go for one, light touch, drive up, two, three, four, five, Six, keep it going. Also think of your adductors, your inside thigh muscles, squeezing to the top. They are often the area that get neglected, so really think about squeezing them as well as your butt. You've got five more reps. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, let's bring it in to your skull crusher or your tricep extension in three, in two, off we go. Hands up towards the sky. Let's take that weight now down towards your forehead for one, for two, for three, four, five. Last 10, stick with me. Two, for three. Big push now for four, five left. You've got this. Eight, Woo, feel the burn, nine and 10. Great work, okay, done. We have got our last bit of work. Bring yourself onto your right hand side. Elbow stays nice and close. Knees are bent like you're gonna do a side plank position in which you're going to do, you're gonna lift yourself up like you're doing a side plank. You are then going to abduct this top leg. Okay, so we're just staying in the side plank. We're also working our upper body, our shoulder, and your oblique muscles. And we're gonna go for 20 on this leg, okay? In three, in two, in one. Foot and knee comes off. For three, four, five, six, keep it going. Seven, for eight, nine, ten. It's gonna to start to burn. One, two, three, four, five, nearly there, six, for seven, eight, nine, 
and 10. Great work. Okay, before we come to the other side, you are going to come into a pike push up. So, knees underneath your hips, your hands are nice and narrow. So, in this kind of like short box position, you are going to bring your forehead directly kind of in between the hands, but slightly ahead. So, you're in a triangle position. So, it looks something like this bring the forehead down and drive up. So, we're really working on the triceps, the backs of the arms. If you have uh, blocks or cushions and you would like to place them uh, in front of you, that is fine. That would obviously just reduce the depth and it makes it a little bit easier if you're struggling a little bit with your upper body. Uh, really important that we keep that form nice and strong. So find that variation that works for you, okay? When you are ready, we are going in three, in two, in one. Bring that forehead to the floor for one, for two, three, Feel that weight in the hands, okay? Try not to push backwards. Feel the weight in the hands for five, six, seven, for eight, nine, you've got one more, ten. Great work. Give those arms a shake out. Switch it over to the other side now. We are going into our clamshell variation on the left side in three, in two, off we go. Lift up. Oh, sorry, no, we're staying in that side plank position. We're going to start again. Five side plank position, just lift that top leg. Two, three, four, five. Keep that foot nice and high in line with the knee for seven, eight, nine. Sit with me. Ten, eleven, twelve. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and, and relax there perfect bring yourself on to your back and just hug the knees in towards the chest find a little bit of a rock side to side hopefully you are feeling a little bit more energized a little bit more awake than you were before and you can really feel your butt and that upper body a little bit of burning going on a little bit of movement in that area if you found any of the exercises really hard today, then just revisit this exercise, this workout, and the next few times you do it, it's gonna feel that a little bit easier. And hopefully that is where that motivation comes in to keep going. Okay, let's hit that right leg nice and long, take it away from you, and just hug that left knee in towards the chest. Again, just keep going with that little bit of movement in each side, and let's switch over. Right leg comes in, left leg goes long, Okay, nice deep breaths. Let the legs go out long. Place the hands either side of your rib cage. Think of taking a nice big deep breath in. And let it go. One more. And let it go. Good, really nice. Okay, you're going to bring yourself all the way around now onto your front. Lay yourself completely down onto your front. Place your right hand down and place your forehead on the right hand. Left hand grabs your left foot. And we're just going to stretch out through that front of the left thigh. Just for a few moments. Nice deep breaths. Try and find a little bit of relaxation here. And slowly let that foot come back down, switch it over, grab your right foot with the right hand. Okay, bring your bum back towards your heels, knees go long, knees go wide, sorry, toes together. I'm just going to get a stretch now, so all the way in front, place each hand on top of each other and stretch it out. Push your armpits down into the floor, stretching out through your shoulders. Take a few really nice deep breaths here. Yeah. Really let that body go. Try and think of melting down into the floor. Any tension you've had from the week, from your day, just try and let it go in this moment. And slowly walk those hands back up. Amazing, you are all done. A huge thank you for joining me here. I have loved this session. 
and the cats being a pain in the butt. Um, if you have any questions, then feel free just to drop them in the comments below this video. Otherwise, I will see you back on the mat for our next session.